Went for Nolan. I kind of figured he would. Yeah. <laughs> you will get away. I'll slice through you like a hot knife through cold butter. I feel like a hot knife through hot butter would be even better cutting, though. Oh, yeah, but then you're just mixing <laughs> soup. <laughs> the missile. <laughs> I like how the boomerang hand axe like stops its trajectory and then goes back right. Oh right, uh, so cavalry in this game, cavalry. Uh, after they attack, they can use the rest of their movement to go away. Oh, so and they can cycle charge. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. And do they get an attack bonus after crossing a certain distance, or no? Is that no, nothing? nothing like that. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's put um. Micaiah. Oh no, she can't shoot him through the paler, can she? Nope. Fuck. I know, right? <laughs> you want to back Nolan up and then just stick Leonardo there and we can do some pot shotting? Yes. This guy has 19 attacks, so we won't kill Leonardo. He's got he's got enough defense for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, 13 attack speed to Leonardo. Yeah, he won't get double either. Yeah, so, okay. yeah that, that seems like a good idea to get some XP yeah, for... Yeah, pull him back, heal yeah. him up, duh. Are we gonna have Micaiah attack anything? Probably. Honestly, she can just sacrifice for some XP this turn. Mm -hmm. Cause like this is a good opportunity to get some XP for Nolan and Leonardo, uh, for Aaron and Leonardo here. Yeah, yeah. Maybe have her sacrifice for Aaron, then, cause he's at a half. Uh, that would put her in the same spot as Edward, which puts her in range of the boss. Oh no, I would put her where Leonardo is right now. Well, she, she can't. Can be, she can't sacrifice. Oh, she can't yeah, sacrifice range. diagonally. Never mind. Yeah. Okay, here's a level. HP, magic, speed, luck, red. Oh my god, dude, she's she's so fast! What the fuck? She's a fast Micaiah! It's a fast Micaiah! <laughs> what are these rules? I don't know. How much but... damage does Edward do to him? Because we might let Leonardo get the last hit. Uh, that's a good point. Ooh, yeah, that's a, that was a really good point. Thank you. That's exactly enough damage. Edward, master of exact damage. I love that animation. It's so quick and snappy. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah, look at that. Hey, perfect. Master of exact damage. There we go. We need to get that man a better bow. Uh, he, we have a steel bow, but he doesn't have the weapon skill for it yet. That's oh, kind of why yeah. we're using him more. Thankfully, vulnerabilities are a thing. Yeah, exactly. And then we can just target. I don't you, know. I here. actually would have put her in the growing in the the. What's her name? Ileana. I would have put her in the glowing green bush. Ah, the healing one. Yes. Just that so she been can a... sit there and shoot anything that tries to pop its head up. That would have been a good idea, actually. Yeah, I'll move her there next turn. I mean, you want to just move him forward and heal? Uh, yeah. We could put him here. Uh. Would I put him in range of aggroing everything there? Or these, guys guys don't don't move. Move. these guys don't move. These guys don't move. Okay. Uh, it would, it would yeah. get this guy there. Yeah, you want to do that? That's fine. Yeah, let's put him there. Alright. You don't even need to use the vulnerary because this is a healing bush. Mm -hmm. One damn it! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lance, okay. Yeah, it's a steel lance, so yeah, it's gonna come out on top. Yeah. But well, it doesn't mean he doesn't have any range. So the healing bushes heal 10% of your max HP every turn. Okay. We got guys closing in behind us now as well. Yeah. Alright. Okay. 
Wait, can we do Master of Exact Damage move again? We can. We totally can. Oh, we absolutely... Yep. Yep. <laughs> Just whittling him away. Mm-hmm. Could Micaiah, uh, if we healed her, take a hit from the boss? Uh, 19 total health versus 19 attack. Yeah, she could tank one. Okay. Because I'm wondering, if we put her in the healing bush, will that bait him to go after her? Possibly. And then she could fucking nuke him with Tanny in, re in retaliation. We don't have the movement for that just yet, uh, but we could I shove. Uh. Yeah, there we go. Make sure she's full health for sure. Yeah, use an herb. Yeah, this 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 could work. Liarno take that kill. Liarno. As long as we can heal him. Yeah, we can heal him. War is within range. Yeah. All right, Leonardo, if your next level sucks, you're benched. Just saying. <laughs> like, you, you you got a big improvement from last time, but, you know, you're still shit right now. Yeah. HP, skill, luck, you're benched. Yeah. <laughs> Rip. Right, you have to heal him, though. You can't let him die, because we'll lose the chapter. Yeah. And we'll just vulnerary again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, I kind of figured he'd just go for Leonardo again anyways. Oh! <laughs> That's not the place to move, buddy! <laughs> it works! <laughs> I didn't even take any damage. <laughs> Twelve. Ugh. Oh, much better now that he's fighting like a, a sword dude. Although I think, hold on, I think I just remembered something. We might not want to kill the boss just yet. Why is that? Yeah, look, he's got a discipline scroll, and it doesn't drop, but we can steal it with Soth. Okay, but we can't get there for Soth. Can if we kill this guy. Okay. Uh, so, uh, the scrolls, by the way, they're what give you skills. So we can- it, we get the- the Discipline scroll allows us to put the Discipline skill on any of our units, and Discipline doubles how much weapon experience they get from attacking. Okay. Alright, Aaron, here's your first kill. We should oh. probably pull Leonardo back, just so he's not in the way anymore. Yeah, because he is... Uh, he's just kind of useless now. Well, actually, he's really useful right now, and you want to know why. Because the boss is always going to target him, and Leonardo can't kill the boss. <laughs> Fair. So yeah, right he's now, bad, he's really good. <laughs> we got to take care of this guy, though. Yes. Oh, shit. Oh. Maybe right, send Nolan? Nolan after the archer? Well, I, this guy has enough movement to get to lore is the issue. See? Oh, uh, okay, yeah. What about the archer? Can the archer reach her as well? Yeah. Because he's got the steel weapon. Does the sword also steal? Yeah, okay, well, fuck. Not really any winning, then. Yeah, what can we do about this? Uh, can... Ileana can face tank, right? Of the sword, For, like, specifically? one hit, maybe? That's fine, then put her right behind, right on top of Laura. Right there. And then we'll right kill the archer. Because the sword can't hit diagonally. Can no one kill the archer? I don't think... I don't know if you can't kill the archer. Ah, fuck. What about this? Maybe? We found a way to kill both of them. Kill. 
Hmm. Alright, this is our first, like, real problem-solving scenario here. How about we body block, then? Put... I was thinking about that. Um... I, I, I have an idea about how we might go about it. Um... Because I was thinking we could put Ileana to the left, right beside where Nolan is, and put Nolan one block down, so they literally can't get Laura. So we could put our AI friends here. Uh, what were you saying? Uh, where, where, we should, where should we put them? Nolan should go one block down, and Ileana should go to the direct left of him. So we'd make the a archer will be able to shoot through the tree. Are. Archer will be able to shoot through the tree. Oh yeah. If we body block, it has to be uh, through through this angle right here to make them go around Nolan and waste the movement speed. One, okay. two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that would work. Hey. That's our best bet then. Is to put Nolan right here. May as well have him kill the sword, dude. Then. 60, 65. That's the better option. Yes! Nice! Okay, yeah. Now this guy can only hit by going through this way, but that'll be body blocked by our allies. So we're safe. Mm -hmm. We can have Lori heal up. Yay, lore level. HP, magic, speed, defense. I told you she had good growth rates, man. Oh, fuck yeah. And then just for XP, we can sacrifice for, like, iron or something. Oh, shit! Fuck, I, I fucked up. Wait, no, we're good, we're good. I can just put Leonardo here. <laughs> Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Yeah. That'll we'll have trade to. the javelin over on Aaron. Mm -hmm. Leonardo will just get attacked in melee. It's fine. He doesn't need XP anywhere, anyways. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Wh why would you attack from range? He's got a bow! <laughs> what? This guy isn't exactly smart. Oh, he's standing on the thicket, so Leonardo okay. does zero damage now. Plunk. Oh god, I think we have to retreat with Soth and heal. Seems like it. Yeah, he can only take two more hits before dying. Another concern is that the boss might go after him and then Soth will kill him. Oh, Wait, yeah. no, actually, actually, Soth can take one more archer shot, right? Because that added <laughs> seven damage, so he can just run down here and steal the discipline scroll now. As long as the boss doesn't kill him. Oh, the boss won't kill him. 19 damage versus uh, 14 defense, he'll do five. Okay. But if the archer moves, since he's now engaged, might also kill him. Archer, archer will not up. move. Archer will if not move. If they team up, will they kill him? If because both of them hit, then yes. Because we've already aggroed that archer now, so he'll probably start moving. No, he doesn't move, no matter what. No, not even no matter what. Yeah, because he's standing on the escape tile. Okay. Let him let kill the boss. We'll probably just nuke him with Micaiah, and that that would do good work. Yeah. The least risky option, that's for certain. Alright, Aaron, what you got? Strength. Okay. Gonna, gonna be honest, I was hoping for more there. That was a little disappointing. Not gonna lie. <laughs> you know what, though? If you're gonna get strength, let's up your strength even further. <laughs> there you go. All right. Now, granted, I am partial to Aaron, and he got a really bad level. <laughs> <laughs> We're making the best of it, okay? <laughs> but she doesn't need it, you know. Don't want to overfocus. The HP, level. skill, speed. All right, take that. 
Yeah, more points than speed. He's going to cap it pretty soon. His cap is at 20. Oh, wow. Some more shenanigans. Indeed. Yeah, right here in the thicket. Mm -hmm. Dragon shield? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to ask you. But, uh... 11 it defense. Was part of the plan. There we go. He's got the same defense as Aaron now. Hey. Then bada bing, bada boom, here's a kill with Aaron. Alright, now give us a better level, buddy. I think he's about the level. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there he is. Come on, man, come on. I need you to get a better level this time. HP, strength, magic, skill, speed, luck, <laughs> defense. Was that a better Beautiful! <laughs> Everything, Everything except resistance. resistance. Wow, okay, there we go. He just got significantly better. <laughs> what, he's gained four strength this match now? Yeah, he's gone up four strength from where he started. And one in everything else except res. <laughs> what do you got for us, Nolan? HP and luck. Come on, Nolan. Eh. Come on. I'll take the health, but come he, on. He needs speed. If he doesn't get speed soon, he's going to become, like, really outclassed. Mm. He's still in range. Yeah, your time is done. Your time is over. Die, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> All you, you crawl quietly back to your cell, and I'll spare you. More than that, however, I can't promise. Don't be so sure. This isn't our first fight, and it won't be our last. A brave, yet foolish sentiment. For the might of the Empire, you lowlifes are just cracked dirt beneath my boots. <laughs> You're a little quiet on your mic, by the way. I don't know what I can do for that. Can you get? Can you put it a little closer? Uh, oh, don't, don't go back, go back, go back! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Skill res. Fuck you, Micaiah. We've only failed one chapter so far. We only failed at the very beginning of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Thank this you one... so much, all of you. Because of your bravery, I can finally rejoin my merchant caravan. Still, coming back to Navasa, I'm stunned. Excuse me, sir. It's Nevada. Things. It's Nevada. Nevada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the slums are pretty bad, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought that Bunyan would rule with such an iron fist? Oh shit! I hit the wrong button. They run the you. <laughs> okay. Um. So we we kind of skipped the whole thing there, but uh, in addition to Amy, we also freed like the rest of her merchant caravan, and they were all like, "Thanks." By the way. The long lost Prince of Dane is said to be somewhere in the desert. Oh. Off to the desert. Awesome. Who doesn't love the good old Nevada desert? So the idea is to go over there where apparently the prince is raising an army to to revolt. Huh. Uh I think this is gonna have to be the end point for me though, because I still got more prep to do. And I'm out of here in an hour. Alright, yep. Yep, we'll call it here then. Are you ready? Save at the base. Yeah, there we go. No other story, and yeah, alright. Good stopping point. Yeah. I'll see you later, Gibby. Hey, you take care, man. Bye. Right. Yes. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's a new session, new day. Uh, we are about to start our next chapter after the prison break. This is our first time seeing the base menu now. My first time in prison, too. Uh, Story-wise, we are traveling to the desert to try to find the long-lost Prince of Dane, who, there, according to rumors, lies in the desert where he is building an army. That catch you back up, Yus? Right. Yeah, it's a good catch-up. All right, cool. Now, uh, more. Li now that we have base menu, I can do base lessons with you. Uh -oh. First, you see how this is green here? 
Mm-hmm. That means there's conversations here. Uh, <clears throat> the conversations are either one star or three star. There are no two stars except for this one, which is actually just mm-hmm. a one star. Uh, these are all conversations between characters, and the difference mm-hmm. is if it's three star, you get an item out of it. Oh, okay. Yep, or in some other thing, you know. Uh, you generally want to do these first. Okay. So, which would you like to do first? Let's just go down by level of importance. All right. Uh, this is... Oh, I'm, I'm both of these characters, aren't I? So, have yes. you noticed? Yes, ever since we arrived here. Hmm. What should we do? Hmm. I don't sense any malice. Whoever it is doesn't seem to mean us any harm, but yeah, let's do it. Alright, on three. Then one, two, three! Ah! <laughs> Hi, Meg! Meg! <laughs> <laughs> She's about as wide as the shark, too. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> you want this one? Uh, hmm. There! Now we can see your face. You're a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I mistook you for a pork chop. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't eaten in a week. Sorry. <laughs> Holy fuck! I'm sorry. No, wait! Please don't run. My name is Mikaya. Don't be afraid. Have you gone mad? Don't tell her your name. We're on the run. Remember? <laughs> what did you dumb fuck? <laughs> I don't want to hear this from the guy who, like, when they were breaking into the manor house, he was like, "Who are you?" And he's like, "We're the Dawn Brigade. We go where we please." <laughs> it's all right. Fair, that She's was not the after people us. that were looking for them. <laughs> <laughs> this God, is my brother, God. Soph. We're from Navasa. Oh, uh. Hi there. And you are? I'm Meg. What are you doing out here on the edge of the desert? I'm looking for someone. Someone very important. Someone close to my heart. All by yourself? Yes. You're meeting somebody way out here? I like how they're like they're, they're just like trying to comprehend this like step by step. I'm not sure exactly. <laughs> See, I met them online. Uh... <laughs> it was Ariana Grande. She had some really good photos. All I know is that this is where he came before he just. <laughs> Fucking Meg's getting catfish, man. Meg's getting catfished. <laughs> The words, this is where he came before he disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> Into the desert. <laughs> what a coincidence. We're also looking for someone in the desert. Would you like to come along? Really? Are you sure? Of course. Oh, thank you. I've been so lonely since I left the Crimea all on my own. Yeah, there's not, there's not too many people alive left in Crimea. <laughs> Real or Fire Emblem. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, there's plenty of people in Crimea proper. You came all the way from Crimea? I'm surprised you made it this far. That's it then. Welcome aboard, Meg. You're one of us now. New character. Ta-da! Alright, so, uh... Meg is, uh... How do I put this? The worst character in the game. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. Uh, hold on. But trying to find which button I'm gonna, is the one I need to use here. Um, Could be status, whichever Y is attached to. There it is. Okay. Okay. So Meg here is a level three armor sword, which basically means she starts out with lower base stats compared to everybody else. Uh, she's also an armor unit, so she has less movement speed than everyone else. She's tied to swords and can use no other weapon. Uh, and yeah, and she also has bad growth rates for her class. She has high speed, but low HP strength and defense, which is what you want in an armor knight. So uh, she's mm-hmm. literally a joke character. And I do oh mean that in the literal sense, because when, like, some devs were interviewed about what their favorite characters are, they were like, we like Meg. <laughs> <laughs> I 
So just she's for the bit. Okay. Literally just a joke character. Uh, she comes with the fortune skill, which uh, nullifies any, any chance of an enemy getting a critical on you. Which sounds oh. really good to give to somebody else, except for two problems. First, it costs 20 capacity, and most people have 15 capacity. Uh, oh, jeez. Second, like, no enemies ever crit you in this game. It's such a rare occasion. Oh, okay. So the real value you get out of fortune is by dequipping it from Meg and then selling it. <laughs> She's worth, like, 2,000 coin that way. Uh, okay. We can also give her iron swords and steel swords to, like, Edward or some shit, you know? Because mm -hmm. she ain't gonna use them. In fact, we can... Like, do you want to try her out just to see how bad she is, or do you just want to do, to, to, to bench her right away? I'll trust your words here, yeah, let's just fucking ditch her. Okay, so you're just giving up all of her gear into the convoy. There we go. Not even gonna field her. Uh, <laughs> while we're here, this is where we manage our skills. So, let me oh, just show you this by with Meg here. We can remove the fortune scroll from Meg. And then if you look at the assign, right... We can give discipline to somebody, which is the skill we picked up from the boss that doubles uh, weapon XP. Oh, okay. And stuff like that. Um, so people, we, we probably want to give the discipline scroll to somebody. <laughs> um, discipline. Got the most to catch up. Discipline is really good for when. Uh, discipline is really really good for uh, units that can use lots of different weapon types because uh, you know obviously. You, it, it, you're not if you're split between several different weapon types, your weapon skill for each of them is going to go up slower because you're switching between them all the time. Uh, okay. Problem is, this guy only uses axes. This guy only uses bows. Only uses thunder magic lances. <laughs> Everybody only uses one weapon right now. Uh. Uh, however, a little tip that I like to do is I like to give it to Aaron. Mm -hmm. Because very soon we are going to get access to a lance that requires an A rank. Oh, okay. So you think it's a good idea? Yeah, let's go with that. Alright. Also, we can probably just get rid of Cancel from Leonardo, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to give it to anybody right now, or is it good just as is? Mm. Maybe... Edward or Nolan or so. Yeah, that's even. what I was thinking. Mikaya, what, what do we want to do? Let's go with um, let's go with Nolan. Okay. Uh oh, right. Uh, cancel is based off an enemy. It, it, the at chance of activating cancel is, I think, uh, your skill. Uh, so how much skill okay. does Nolan have actually? He's got twelve. That's not bad. Edward has uh, 16. Not that much better, but it is better. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, you want to give it to Nolan? Uh, let's give it to Edward if it's got this based on the skill. Uh, yeah, Every it, little bit counts. You sure? Because we could give it to Nolan. Yeah. There's no issue with that. Oh yeah, I know, I know. Let's okay. do Edward anyways. Because I just, whatever it is, I want it to be your decision, you know? <laughs> Ileana has the shade skill attached to her. Uh, this okay. skill makes it so that uh, she's less likely to be targeted by enemies. Do we want to keep this on her for now, or give it to somebody yeah, else? Yeah, let's keep it on her. It's useful on a ranged unit. It'd be either yeah. put, keep it on her or give it to Micaiah. Yeah, I was I, I, that was well, something I was going to say is it's really good on Micaiah. Mm -hmm. right, but yeah, for for now, let's, let's, we'll, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep it on her for now, because that's what you want to do. Merchants. All right, so they're, they're going to explain how the shop works now. Oh. Oh, there you are. Can we have a word with you? Amy, Mustin, how may I help you? Relax, honey. I'm here to tell you about our business. You like to shop, don't you? Let me guess. You want to sell us weapons and other items, am I right? That's right. Our inventory changes depending on where we are and what time it is. One thing is always the same. We guarantee fair prices. So stop by whenever you can. That is bullshit. They do not guarantee fair prices. <laughs> guarantee fair gouges. <laughs> do you carry tomes? Yep. Fire, thunder, wind, light. We got all your basics covered. My shop also has lots of staves and medicine. Oh, and I recently made some key connections. 
now I carry some very rare items. Okay, so Amy here is the primary perpetrator of the that's not a fair price shop, right? Uh, <laughs> so what Amy does is she has, she sells like staves and vulnerabilities and shit. But then mm -hmm. she also has a special section in her shop that's all like unique, highly priced items that oh, okay. you can only get ever that you can only get at that chapter, right? Oh, okay. Uh, and they change every chapter, and they're scripted off of every chapter, right? Hmm. So the the the, the stuff in her special shop this chapter will be gone forever if we don't buy it. Oh, okay. And then the stuff in her next shop next chapter will be available for a chapter, and then gone forever if you don't buy it. Okay. They're one of a kind and very valuable. You should come have a look. Rare weapons, too. Honestly, you should just buy them before someone else does. At these prices, they're bound to sell quickly. Well, that's our spiel. Thanks for listening. Do come by. We'll be waiting. More merchants. George. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello, don't mind us. We won't take but a moment of your time. Okay, these guys are like... I, I want you to think of these guys. Th these guys are about to do like a sales pitch. So I'm thinking like <laughs> bring out some like Billy Mays or something, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Mays? Okay. Um... How the fuck does Billy Mays go? Billy Mays here! Well, hello! Don't mind us! We won't take but a moment of your time. Hello, George. Hello, Daniel. We just wanted to tell you... Oh, you, you want to take both of these guys, actually? <laughs> I'm going to make them sound exactly the same. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> By the way, your, your mic is a, a little choppy. I'm going to tell you a FYI. little about what we can do for you. <laughs> we slap <can> chop. <laughs> <laughs> I've already told her. George will buy from us any items we need, we no longer need, and Daniel. Hey, excuse me. We're talking here, talk to Micaiah, not some stuffy know what all punt. <laughs> George, don't be rude. I'm sorry about that, South. Anyway, we just wanted to tell you about some changes we made to our business. Alright, I'll keep my mouth shut as long as Daniel does the talking. <laughs> like, but we're the same person. Thank you. So, what do you have, Daniel? Hey, thanks for asking. That's not Daniel! <laughs> <laughs> That's even better! I've got a guy who's a master blacksmith. He makes weapons you wouldn't believe, and they're not available anywhere else. Hey, thanks a lot, me. I make weapons, too. Pretty good ones, if I do say so myself. He's the blacksmith that George is like, I know a guy. <laughs> he lays right next to him. <laughs> It's just, you know, customs have been extremely tight lately. Raw materials are so hard to come by. By the way, your, your mic is a little choppy, FYI. I don't know what's going oh, on there. Oh, well. I want to, like, twist the aux cable around or something like that. Something like that. One sec. How's this? Uh, I mean, let's keep talking and find out. <laughs> Which reminds me, if you ever have weapons you don't need, would you sell them to us? Yes, please. <laughs> Actually, even better. Sell me your weapons, and I'll give them to Dad, my blacksmith. Then he can sell them <laughs> for newer, shinier pieces. Okay, so they're actually referring to a system that used to be in the Japan version of the game, where in a, it, to forge weapons, you would need raw materials they would get from selling. Uh, oh. But... It, but now they changed it in the America version to simplify it so that you, you just need money. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Which, for the better, honestly. Mm -hmm. Less tedious. Yeah, exactly. It costs some money to upgrade weapons, but... But hey, let's face it. In this in the current economy, it's worth the money. <laughs> oh, and a custom-made weapon sets you apart from the common soldier. Oh, and here's a one-time only deal. I won't even charge your materials on your first upgrade. Pretty nice, huh? Again, just just referring to, like, Japan. Japanese version. <laughs> they just didn't bother now getting rid of it. <laughs> now you have no excuse not to come by. Got that, Micaiah? Um, yeah, thank you. Oh, one last thing. 
you ever buy me a coin, I'll give you a little bonus on whatever I'm making for you. So yeah, no, you can find these little items called coins throughout the game, uh, just as like little hidden items. And you can sell them for exactly one gold. Or you can give them to these guys and it will add benefits to your forge weapons. Oh, cool. Yeah. They're very rare, so be sure to hang on to them. Don't sell them to some stranger. For one coin. <laughs> You will get screwed. This is, likewise, this is the, just how this is the only two-star in the game that's actually a one. This is the only three-star in the game where we don't get anything. And we're supposed to get something in the Japanese version. Okay. Yeah. What are you doing out here, Kurth? Hello, Micaiah. Pay me no mind. I'm just watching the desert. How the wind changes the landscape, the ebb and flow of the dunes, like giant swells in the ocean I find it mesmerizing this sounds so much better than his fucking robot voice you gave him at first <laughs> is this your first time in the desert yes my homeland is ringed with mountains everything about Dayan looks new and curious to my eyes I see you have not asked I'm sorry you have not asked me who I am or where I am from not just you, Micaiah, but the others as well. No one seeks to know who I am. You seem to not want to talk about yourself, am I right? Yes. That's why nobody asks. People can tell when somebody wants their privacy. Any of us desire privacy, too. Kurth, you're not our enemy. I know that much. You're kind and gentle. That's all I need to know. Thank you. And also, you have 55 hit points, and that'd be really nice to know as well. <laughs> Oh, so you may, you may not realize it, but the rest of us know you're wearing, like, heavy-duty steel <laughs> don't cover the noise. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so... Can you imagine that, dude? You know, like, a big old cloak. Next to Seth Bourne, and it's just, like, clunk. <laughs> okay, so allow me to introduce the support system. So, uh, as characters get to... Uh, uh, so, as you can make characters, like support each other by like mm -hmm. making them fight near each other you know mm -hmm. and then you can upgrade their you can activate and upgrade their supports here at this menu and it mm -hmm. uh, what supports do is that if your unit is fighting next to their in near their support unit within three tiles they gain a stat boost uh okay. so Mikaya and soth start with an a rank support they just start with that right oh and it provides when they're when they're within three tiles of each other, it provides them each plus two attack, plus eight to their hit chance, and plus fifteen to their avoid chance. Hmm. So that's how that works, right? But okay. we can create, we can force a relationship between anybody we want, basically, as long as they've spent a certain number of turns next to each other. Like Ileana, Aaron, and Meg have not spent enough turns with any other characters, so they're not really able to support with anybody. But if we look at Nolan, we can see that Nolan spent enough time with Micaiah, Laura, Leonardo, and Edward to build a bond with them. Right? Okay. Uh, but you can only bond with one person. Oh, okay. And your, your, your bond starts at C rank and has low additions. And then they go up depending on... Uh, they go up like as, as, they, as you go from as C to B used. to A. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, also, what the what each player brings to the support bonus is dependence on their affinity, which is shown by, uh, w w which is shown by those little logos by their names. Micaiah has oh, okay. dark affinity, weirdly enough. Uh, Nolan has, uh, but w the one you want to watch out for the most is this one right here, the one Nolan has, Earth affinity, mm -hmm. uh, because Earth affinity provides a void and lots of it and nothing else except a void. So if you pair two oh. people with Earth Affinity together and you cap them out, they each get like plus 40 avoid. It's ridiculous. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Uh, somebody I like to pair him, uh, somebody I like to pair Nolan with is actually Aaron because uh, he has the Thunder Affinity, which provides defense and avoid. So they make a really ah. good pair. They make a really, really good pair. Uh, because, uh... This one right here, I think it's... Either I think it's Heaven Affinity. I'm not exactly sure what it's called. Um, water Affinity. This one provides attack. Uh, I think it provides okay. attack and hit. 
So if if we see this one, it's nice to give to somebody else as well. But Leonardo is benched, so. Mm -hmm. In fact, do we want to just empty his inventory? Uh, I wouldn't. Just he okay. can still shoot at things. He won't do much, but every bit helps. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, it's only an iron bow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so uh, do you want to support anybody? We could support. Uh, Laura with Nolan or Leonardo, or we could support Nolan with uh, Laura, Leonardo, and Edward. I recommend we leave these two with their support because they really both need mm -hmm. them, you know. Uh, but and it's a good level already. So yeah, yeah, not to... exactly. It's it's capped out essentially. Mm -hmm. uh, but do you want to make any supports? You can always erase them later. Uh, but if you re erase a support or replace it with somebody, the previous person they were paired goes back to like zero. Essentially, and oh, they have okay. to restart. So, what do you want to do? Um. Hmm. I'm thinking either pair someone with Edward. Who do we want? We can do Nolan or Leonardo. Probably just lit Nolan, right? Since they're both actually going to contribute. Yeah, they're kind um, of both Leonardo is right on, now, yeah. and it'll be good until we compare Nolan with another Earth. Exactly, or with Aaron with his thunder, you know. And Leonardo is about to be benched anyways. Yeah. All right, so if you see here, um, so Edwards uh, Heaven Affinity provides defense and hit. So okay. Uh, with Nolan providing a void, that means that when they're next to each other, they each have plus one defense, plus three hit, and plus eight avoid. Good support. Yeah, which is great when they're uh, since they're both frontline. Exactly. So yeah, that's that's all there is to that. All right. Okay, award XP. So these are the, ro the the bonuses that we get for completing those side objectives, like making everybody else uh, clear the map before Micaiah and stuff. I mentioned that we get oh, okay. rewards for it. It's bonus XP that we can give to just make people level up. Right. Oh. Now here's the thing about bonus XP: is any levels that you get at the base from bonus XP level up exactly three stats. No more, no less. And they always go in your highest growth rate stats that are uncapped. Oh, okay. Right? So, want me to tell you how to abuse this? Absolutely. So, Aaron here has a low speed growth rate, right? Mm -hmm. But he has really high HP strength and defense, so we wait for him to cap out his HP strength and defense. Or maybe just two of them. And then we throw in bonus XP levels so that he's guaranteed to get three levels in his lower growth rate stats. Okay. That's how you abuse bonus XP. Uh, but it's also just something we can do if we want to have a, a, a person catch up. You know, we're like, Nolan's kind of behind. Let's give him a level. You know, three, three points mm -hmm. in extra stats. You know, why not? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so what do you want to do? Would you like to spend or save? What's a uh, Laura's level? We don't really need to worry about Laura. Her job is a heal bot. Yeah, fair. But uh, she's currently level two, about to be level three. She's Aaron's? honestly probably David better off with uh, Aaron. Uh, he's yeah. he's relatively okay. Uh, something else you can yeah. do is set him just below the threshold mm. so that we save a little bit of XP, right? And then like. He starts the, the chapter off with a level up that has a full level up benefit rather than just the base XP. Yeah, actually, let's do that. So you want to put him at like 95? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, now, uh, do you, and then we want to just say the rest or spend more. What do you want to do? This is mm -hmm. all you, my man. Let's do the same with Edward because they're at the same level. And then that'll be it. Okay. By the way, the inflation value is pretty insane. Like, if you look, it takes five points of bonus XP to equal one point of actual XP. Yeah. Uh, the inflation, by the way, is worse in hard mode. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay, so here's our armory where we can get basic bitch stuff. You know, bronze and iron weapons. Uh... Now, here's the thing. Now, for knives, we don't get an iron knife, but we do get access to bronze knives. And 
The difference between a bronze dagger and a bronze knife is knives can be thrown. They're one two range, but they have lower might and less uses. Oh, okay. And we can also get thunder and light. <laughs> what do you have those? Oh, yeah. Really... This is more so for refreshing for when we run out of our basics and stuff. But mm -hmm. Micaiah's never gonna run out of spell uses. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, we're pretty set across the board. Uh, a knife might be useful for Soth, but there's something else we can do for that. Oh, let's sell that fortune scroll, eh? The one Meg has? Like, it's worth 5,000 oh, yeah. gold. Oh, and it's worth 3,000. Okay. Yeah. So, for reference, now we have 8,000 gold. We got 3,000 for that. A normal sword costs 500. <laughs> yeah, okay. See how worth that is, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, the shop here, this is where we're gonna get heal staves as well as herbs, and then this is the special shop I was talking to you about. Oh, okay. So for this map only, uh, at the shop here available are javelins and hand axes. The Beast Killer is a high crit weapon that also has bonus damage against a specific enemy type, beast enemies. Okay. Uh, which I will just tell you now is very worth it in this chapter. Oh, okay. Like I'm gonna, I'm just gonna take the executive decision here and buy this, and you can give it to someone. <laughs> uh, this is a ridiculously overpriced tome, by the way. Oh, okay. Look, look what at the price it of it. Yeah, it's almost three k. It has, it's a light magic that's weaker than Thanny, but stronger than light. Okay. And has less uses than either of them. This is a men staff. It's a heal staff, but better. A heal okay. staff is 10 HP plus your magic stat. This is 20 HP plus your magic stat. Okay, yeah, that just sounds worth it. Uh, buy yes or no. I, I'm just I, I wasn't like suggesting you buy this or anything. I was just educating you on what it does. But mm -hmm. buy it yes buy or no. It. It'll okay. be useful later on. All right, sounds good. It also has half the uses. Mm -hmm. just kind of and then uh, we should grab a javelin for a run. We can do that if you want. Aaron. Do you want to do that? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Oh, he already has one. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. And then, uh, do you want to get this hand axe? Yes, no? What is Nolan's ass for its uh, durability? Nolan's hand axe currently has 16 uses. Okay. Eh. Oh, you know what we should do? Uh, we should get Nolan an Iron Axe, because that'll be lighter, so he'll be less slowed down. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, can he wield this without, uh... It weighs 11. I think he has 11 strength. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he has 12 strength at base, so... Yeah, I think that's what he's got. Yeah, okay, yeah, he, he can wield he's this without 13. getting slowed, so that's, that's big. Mm-hmm. So yeah, there we go. And All you just right. gotta think about stuff like that. Oh, r lastly is Forge. Mm -hmm. So this allows us to make special weapons. And what I mean by that is, say we go Lance, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so we pick, like, an Iron Lance as our base, and look, we have Iron Lance stuff right here. But then mm -hmm. we can adjust its stats by spending extra money. Okay. Yeah. We could make a. We could spend a whole bunch of extra money to make a really weak ass staff. We could make it more accurate. We could make mm. it more likely to crit. Uh, we could increase or decrease its weight. Which why would you ever increase it? <laughs> uh, so, do you think anybody should get a forge? Uh, something we can do. This is a big recommendation for me. Is you know how we were talking? I was saying that you can't get iron knives yet. You can only get bronze ones. Yeah. You can forge an iron knife with just base okay. stuff and give it to them. Oh, we can also adjust its color. So let's make it like green or some shit. <laughs> we can also name it, but this is just an iron knife, so I'm not gonna bother. Right? I'm just taking you through the menus while buying a cheat knife that's really good for self. Okay, so do you <laughs> think anybody should get a, a forged weapon to help them catch up? Um just trying to think I don't I think the only people we're concerned about catching up 
probably our two biggest contenders would be Nolan or Aaron. Or sorry, Nolan mm -hmm. Edward or Aaron. You know? Well, why Nolan? Because Nolan's three levels ahead of the rest of the melees. Just because he hasn't gotten very much speed, but there's nothing we can do about uh, that. And we have Gavin have a normal axe already, you know, mm -hmm. to help with his speed problem. Yeah. Yeah, so, maybe a lance for Aaron. All right. By the way, that is exactly what I would have done, so. Mm -hmm. Do we want to make it more accurate, give it a little bit more punch, you know? Every progressive upgrade gets more expensive. Uh, okay. Do we, I think he has enough strength to wield without us lowering the weight, so we don't need to worry about weight at all. Oh, okay. So, and a, a tiny bit of extra crit isn't going to do shit. You know, so mm -hmm. really, uh, it, it's, it's, it, I would only ever do crit for characters like Edward, who's kind of built for it anyway. Yeah, exactly. Since he has plus five to his crit stat just as a, as mm -hmm. a class bonus. So do we want to how much extra hit and might do we want for Aaron? Maybe just a tap up to 90 for hit. Um, we could we could go all the way up to like 95. That would be OK. It's not too expensive. Sure. Unless you want to just go 90. No, let's do 95. Why not? Okay. And then color? Cyan. <laughs> Cyan. All right. Unfortunately, we don't have a coin yet, but uh, what do you want to name it? Uh, Longinus. What? <laughs> like the Lance of Longinus? I don't know what that is. It's the spear that shanked Jesus. <laughs> what? Seriously, when he was on the cross, someone wanted to be extra. They stabbed him with a spear. Okay, yeah, sure, we'll name it that. How do you spell it? Literally long, like L-O-N-G. I-N-U-S. I-N-U-S? Yes. Uh, you, you, there it is. Okay. Longinus. Oh, it's got 50 durability too, so it'll last for quite a while. By the way, my weapon names are usually way less thought out than that. I'll name, oh, that I'll, I'll make like, I'll make like a straight sword and name it like Chips and Salsa. Yeah. Or well, I mean, I will see I'll make like a well spear. Out, I'll, like... I'll make like a spear and name it the pointy end. <laughs> yeah, that that's my that's my naming style. You know where to stick them. <laughs> yeah. All right, you ready to move on? Yeah. What's going on, Micaiah? I'm not sure. I sense something. There's a presence here that calls out to me. All right, Micaiah, you and I should look into this. Everyone else, check the surroundings. By the way, the, the, the story is that they just randomly stumbled across this, upon this building in the desert. Oh. This is you. Got it. Everybody, be on your guard. Don't remember his voice. It doesn't matter. He, has, he doesn't have very many voice lines left in the game. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Amazing. I can't believe these ruins are still standing. They do seem to be very old. Indeed. I wonder who built them. Judging by the size, it must have been the Lagoos. What makes you say that? Lagoos are beast people, by the way. Uh, it's what the, the beast slayer is good against. Uh, what do you think it would be like to change into a bird or a dragon as the Lagoos can? Being part beast is one thing, but being able to transform into that beast with more strength than we could ever imagine. I mean, they could build a place like this before breakfast. I suppose that's true, but what surprises me most is not that whether these could be Lagoo's ruins, but you, Self. You've changed, haven't you? Me? How so? I remember a time when you used to refer to the Lagoo's as subhumans. Yeah, Lagoo's were kind of like treated as slaves for a long time in Telia's history. Oh. Such an ugly word. Now look at you. Well, come on. Bjork are called the Children of Wisdom, and Lagoo's the Children of Strength for a reason. But now, but I know now that just because our two races differ doesn't mean that one is better than the other. The age-old Bjork bias against the Lagoos is based on sheer ignorance. 
Uh, to be fair, the, the Lukus have just as much hatred of Bjork. Yeah. They're, like, it's, it's full-on race it war is, between them. It is a two-sided race war. Yeah. <laughs> Not a one-sided one. Although it is definitely... A lot of the crimes definitely go way more towards the Bjork than the Lukus, because Lukus don't yeah. like, believe in slavery and stuff. When I, Mike Dur when I met Ike during the war three years ago and fought beneath him, he made me realize this. Ike was the main character of the last game. Mm. Honestly, here I thought you were saying something enlightened and you're just talking about him again. What do you mean again? So, sometimes every other thing you say is an ode to Ike. <laughs> uh, so, Ike was, uh, uh, Ike was on Crimea's side in the war three years ago and was basically the primary cause of Dayan's loss in the war. Oh. Because Dan was the bad guys in the last game. Yeah. I know you fought beside him. I know you owe him your life. And I know you want to be just like him. But to the people at Dan, he's the man who crushed us three years ago. Some would even call him our arch enemy. If we hadn't lost the war to that man, Dan wouldn't be in the mess it's in now. You know that. Psh, I know that. Everybody knows that. Yuna? Yuna? What is it? Where are you going? Incredible! Mounds of treasure. Maybe it was the gold calling you, Micaiah. <laughs> this is you. Uh, what is this? Looks like a tasty snack turned up while we were out. <laughs> <laughs> Introducing <laughs> Pain. That's actually his name. In a long time, boys. Everybody, my fine brothers. This is Pain. That's actually his name. <laughs> Not good. Magoo's bandits. Micaiah, give the signal. Consider it done. Pulls out a fucking flare gun. <laughs> we can also start choose where we're like starting position is from now on. Nice. Uh, so we have two bosses on this map. This is Pain, and uh, this is Agony. Ah. <laughs> they have 43 and 44 HP. <laughs> Alright, I'll explain how the goose work as we go in as we go into the game a little bit more. So we can just bench back. <laughs> Not here. Her spot is now empty. <laughs> uh okay. So, uh this wall here and this wall here is breakable. Uh, there's choke points here and here. These are pits that they cannot go into. Yeah. Uh, so how would you like to re how would you like to position everybody? Hmm. Well, I put Iran in the right choice. Right choke. Okay. So he, he, we don't. He'll so, stay there. Yeah, he'll stay here. Um, oh, we can't switch force characters. So Micaiah and Soth, we can never switch. Okay. Uh, let's put Leonardo on the far left. You can take hot shots. Okay. Um, and let's move Edward to where Leonardo was. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. This was, as ever, a ton of fun to make. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, please do consider subscribing. It really helps the channel out. And have a great day.